Hey guys, Brian here. Uh, tonight we're going to be making a uh, smoked sea scallops with a citrus and garlic butter sauce. going to be delicious. And uh, I don't normally do this, but uh, I was making this and saving this recipe up for my brother who, who unfortunately uh, is not going to be able to make it tonight. So I told him, hey, no worries, no worries at all. I'm going to go ahead and make it and I'm going to let you know exactly how good it is. Is, is that mean? It might be a little mean. If you think that's mean, go ahead and down below give me a thumbs up. And, and if you think it's mean and you're still okay with it, uh, go ahead and <laughs> hit the thumbs up. We're going we're gonna to have a good time. going to have a great recipe. It's going to be some great food. So I'll write it down below so you get the recipe uh, and you can copy it up on your own time and uh, enjoy it. Okay, so what I'm using here is... Uh sea scallops and I got these from uh, butcher block and I've used butcher block for quite some time never gone wrong always great premium stuff this will be the the first time I've used the sea scallops but I have a feeling they're gonna be absolutely fabulous uh, I'm gonna wash these off under cold running water and then um, I'm gonna pat them dry with a towel before I put them up on the grill but one thing I want to do is remove all the uh, tags uh, the adductor tags for the muscle tissue. We don't want to be cooking any of that. So um, I don't expect any uh, tags on here, but it's going to be absolutely wonderful. And for this wonderful meal, we will be using the Traeger Apple Premium because nothing says I love my food better than dealing with the Traeger Apple. Okay, so we went ahead and we washed our scallops and, and they were fantastic. There were no tabs. It was incredible. We're gonna pat those dry with the um, uh, paper towel and then put them on a rack so that they're not uh, right on the grill, but we want them up a little bit so that smoke can get up underneath there and just get that get good apple smoke flavor going on with the top of them. Now what I'll go ahead and do is uh, just a little bit of salt and pepper. One of the few times is this, all I use is actual real salt and pepper before putting them there on the uh, in the smoker. Oops, are uh, smoking. We're gonna go ahead and make our sauce, and we're gonna we're gonna melt the butter in a small saucepan over medium to low heat. Add a, just a pinch of salt going to be garlic, Worcestershire sauce, zest and juice of a half orange and parsley. We're going to simmer this for about five minutes and keep it warm uh, till we uh, use it over the top of our smoked scallops. And then we're going to go ahead and put the smoked scallops back in and going to cook them a little bit more. Okay, so we've had these on the uh, Traeger at the 165 Super Smoker setting and uh, pulled them out after 20 minutes of getting some smoke on. Now we're going to take that uh, sauce that we made and we're just going to brush that on. Just, just a, a little bit of it goes a long ways right now. We're just going to keep it moist before we put it back into the Traeger. And this time we're going to uh, preheat it. Uh, right now it's warming up to 400 degrees. And you can put it in between 10 and 15 minutes, depending on the size of, of uh, uh, each, each one of the uh, scallops. So we got some pretty good scallops here. So I'm going to go ahead with uh, 15, and I think that's going to work out just right after putting a little more sauce on there. Okay, we just got these out of the Traeger at uh, 400 degrees for 15 minutes and uh, I think they came out just perfect. You definitely don't want to overcook because if you overcook, it's gonna become all chewy. Um, we, we brought them out, they already have some juice going on, but we're gonna take that the, the sauce, that special sauce that we made, whatever's left in there, and we're just gonna coat the, the, the rest of uh, these, these scallops and it's just gonna be fabulous. I can tell right away uh, when I pull these out 
They smell delicious. They're going to taste fantastic. And my brother's really going to be missing out. Okay, we're going to uh, plate these for my guests. I uh, wanted to share them uh, with you first. And we're going to really see what the uh, taste like. So uh, we'll, 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 we'll see how that tastes, brother. How's the, how's the scallops tonight? So let's let's find out what we did. Hmm. Mm. What did you put with the kale? That is absolutely phenomenal, bro. You missed out. I hope the rest of you enjoy this video. Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, ring that bell. We have more coming for you. Mm. Um, so I see my raccoon is on your, your phone there. Folks, I am here to demonstrate the ease of eating these here scallops. You weren't raised in the era I was, but Yoel Gibbons was around and great nuts. They were hard to eat. These scallops are so good. I'm going to tell you, you know, the, the people that I wish were right here right now enjoying these here scallops, I wish Brett and Jen were here. If they were here with me eating these scallops right now, I guarantee you there wouldn't be any leftovers. But I'm going to take these with me. And it's a to-go box, and I've already placed my order for next Saturday. And folks, you should do that too. Just dial 1-800-BRIAN-AND-JUDITH, and you'll get your scallops any day, soon. Just don't order them online, because you'll never get them. <laughs> Seacrest out, folks. Bye. Oh, God. <laughs> And two, three, only. four. I heard these are good. I'm going to give this one a try. 